CMG, we bring you the stars. Today's tutorial is a basic look at item production in Phase of Mankind. Just about every item in the game has three quality levels. There's low quality, or QL1, there's a medium quality, or QL2, and high quality, or QL3. Only premium accounts can create high quality items, so either you'll need to get a premium account or find somebody who has one if you want to make QL3 items. For most of the items on the market, QL2, or medium quality, will be sufficient. There are three basic steps in producing an item. First is to mine the raw materials, then to refine those materials into production components, and then combine the production components into the finished product. Let's do a little bit of prep work here. So this is the production terminal. I open it up, there are some basic parts to it. There's a couple options at the top that allow me to filter what I'm looking at, allow me to see other faction items, and allow me to see production modules that I have not purchased yet. Here's a list of the available products and components that we can create, and if we click on them, we can see various schemes for creating the product here at the bottom. Some products allow for multiple schemes to be used, and we have a quality selector here at the bottom. QL2, again, is going to be what we want to use. So why don't we make some pizza? First, that's a food. I'm going to show unequipped. If we scroll down here to Double Cheese Mystique, I can right-click and choose Buy Production Module. And I'll be prompted this it's going to cost 750 UC. That's okay, that's a pretty cheap PMOD. I'll go ahead and say OK. If I uncheck the show and equipped, we can see that the double cheese mystique stays here, meaning that I've purchased this production module. Let's look at some of the components. First, we need to get organic materials. We need four of them that are medium quality. We need one chemical, and we need one water. The organic materials and the water, those are raw materials, and they're available on Tokyo, where I'm standing. The chemicals they're actually refined from chemical substances and I can get the chemical substances on Paris. It might be a good idea to make some notes about where you can find certain materials because different colonies offer different raw materials. So why don't I head over to Paris and get some chemical substances. So here's one of the mining terminals. When I open it up it shows a list of the available raw materials that are at this colony as well as my quality selector. Remember we're doing quality too. I'm going to grab chemical substances. I'm just going to choose one and say OK. This is the basic mining and production screen. There's a lot of options here. And for this tutorial, we're not going to change any of them. OK, now that our mining is complete, I'm going to go into storage. And if I had mined up a lot of chemical substances, I can drag them down here to transport and then choose to send them to Tokyo. However, I only have one, so I'm just going to put it in my inventory and carry it. So back at Tokyo, let me drop off the chemical substance. Then I'm going to mine up the four organic materials and the one water. Notice that I can run two mining runs at the same time. I can also run two production runs. So back at the production terminal, over here to chemicals. Again, quality level two. I'm going to hit start production. I'm just going to do one of them. Here's the one chemical substance, and it's going to produce for me two chemicals. Now that the chemicals are finished refining and we've completed mining the water and the organic materials, I'm going to scroll down here to the pizza. And we're going to start that. Remember, this is the third and final step. When we're done, we're going to have ten pizzas. When I look in my storage, I can see here that I have ten pizzas. So to summarize, we went through the three steps. We mined a raw material, we refined one of the materials into a production component, and then we combined all of them into the pizza. After viewing this tutorial, you should have a basic understanding of how to produce items in Phase of Mankind. There's a lot more things that influence production in this game as well, but I'm going to save those for an advanced tutorial.